and welcome back to Love Your Food. This week we have a great side dish for you for this holiday season. We have uh, a creamy succotash. Now, uh, this is a vegetable dish primarily. Uh, this can be made vegetarian vegan uh, if you eliminate the bacon out of this and uh, keep the cream out. But uh, we're doing a version that includes both of those things. So let's start off with our ingredients. So we're going to be using a bunch of corn fresh off the cob, some green beans, some Italian parsley, this is just flat leaf parsley, some onion, some okra, we're going to be using some grape tomatoes, uh, some bacon, and some heavy cream. We're using full-on heavy 35% uh, cream here. So first thing we're going to do is get our bacon started. And we're just going to uh, render this out until it's nice and crispy. Uh, and we're going to use the fat to sort of kickstart getting our vegetables cooked. So starting off with our bacon in the pan. And then while that's uh, crisping up, we're going to start getting our prep ready for everything else. So we're going to get our green beans. Uh, we definitely want to cut all of the stem ends off of the green beans. So just bundle those all together and get all your stems cut off. And then we're going to just cut these into uh, small enough segments that they're all going to cook pretty quickly. And we want pre-even segments so that they all cook at around the same time. So just uh, give them a good cut. Uh, you don't want them you know, easily bite-sized so that they fit in with all your other ingredients. And then we're just going to set that aside. So we were aiming for about two cups of green beans, which we got almost exactly the right amount. So we're just going to pop those into the measuring cup there. We were a little bit shy, but we had a little bit extra okra, so uh, that made up for it. For the corn, we're just going to cut those in half, and then we're just going to cut the niblets right off the cob. And we want to make sure that we're getting all of that uh, amazing flavor out of there. So once you've got the niblets cut off, then just give it a little scrape with the back of your knife. And we are going to use all four of those cobs that you saw earlier. And that came to almost four cups of uh, corn niblets. And you want to get as much of that great juice uh, and flavor from there as well. So just make sure you're getting everything from those into that uh, into your dish. There you go, we got almost up to that four cup mark. For our okra, we're gonna cut the stem ends off once again, just like we did with the beans. And we're gonna cut those into, uh, again, smaller sort of bite-sized segments. And again, you wanna try and be as even as you can because you want them all to cook at around the same time. Some other common things to add in uh, this recipe are um, bell pepper as well, uh, which we're not using here. And if you don't have grape tomatoes, then you can always just chop up a regular tomato. For the onions, now we want the onion to sort of disappear into this dish, so we're going to give it a pretty fine dice. So you can see Chef Caleb here doing a French cut and then a very fine dice across the grain. Now, uh, all of the ingredients are going to be in the description below with their amounts. So once your bacon is all nice and crispy, uh, it's time to take that out. Hold on to that, we're going to be using it a little bit later. And then we've got all this great bacon grease, this nice uh, nice hot bacon grease, and in goes our vegetables. So we're going to start with the uh, onions. And the green beans. Now these are going to just need a little bit of a kickstart before everything else, because they're going to take a little longer to cook. And the onions go in early because we just want to give them a little bit more time so that they have time to uh, get nice and translucent and sort of melt into the dish. A little sprinkle of salt. And a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper. We're, this is not a pepper heavy dish, so we're not going to add a whole lot. We're just going to add a little sprinkle. And we're going to be able to season this later uh, just before serving as well. And if you spot any little <laughs> little onion skins in there, that's the time to take them out. Uh, once the onions, as you can see here, have gotten a little translucent, we're going to add in our 
okra, and corn. So like I said, we just wanted to give those a little bit of a kickstart. So the onions have cooked down a little bit. A lot of the juices have come out. It's gone a little translucent. And we're going to add our ingredients uh, just to finish cooking everything together. So we can give this a little stir, a little shake. You saw Chef Caleb add another little dash of salt in there as well. We just added a whole bunch of uh, corn and it's quite starchy. So you're going to want to add a little bit of salt in there. So while that's cooking, we're going to prepare uh, our last couple of ingredients. So the uh, parsley. And we don't want this to cook for very long. So we're not going to add it until right near the end, uh, just so it has time to get cooked all the way through. So we're just going to sort of chiffonade the parsley. and then give it a nice little chop through. We don't want any huge pieces or anything, so we're gonna let that get pretty small. And then our grape tomatoes, we're just gonna cut these in half. It makes it a little easier to eat. Um, I'm sure if you've ever eaten cooked grape tomatoes that are whole, as soon as you bite into them, you get that um, molten hot <laughs> tomato explosion in your mouth. Not always pleasant, so we're just gonna cut those in half so it's a little easier to eat. So once everything's pretty much cooked down and uh, is hot all the way through, we're going to add our tomatoes and parsley. And then we're going to add our cream. And it's not a whole lot, honestly. It's not a lot of cream. Now we use this uh, lovely organic cream, which uh, the inside of the carton always has a little bit of uh, just butterfat and cream uh, that is sort of collected on the inside. We want to get all that out because it's absolutely delicious. So we're going to get that into our pan and give everything a nice little stir. Until it's all well combined. So give it a nice little uh, um, stir with your heat proof sp uh, spatula here. And then we just want to cook this until it's all the way, uh, it's cooked all the way through. So while that's finishing off, we're just going to cut up our bacon and make our own little bacon bits. This is nice and crispy as you can see. And this is basically just going to be a garnish for our uh, for our succotash at the end here. And from there, it's just uh, it's just presentation. So we're just going to pop this into a little bowl. Uh, this goes just fine on the side of a plate. It goes amazing with a lot of different kind of grilled food or fried food. Uh, it goes uh, amazingly with uh, you can do this with fried chicken. You can do this with steak, pork chops, whatever you like. It's uh, it's it's really versatile. And then we're just going to top that with a little bit of that crispy uh, bacon as well. And that's it. That's the whole thing. Super, super simple. Absolutely delicious. Uh, a great vegetable side dish for, uh, as I said, a lot of different kind of grilled or roasted meats. This goes really well with uh, even something like roasted turkey. So uh, we do hope that you'll give this a try. If you like this recipe, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any recipes you'd like to see Chef Caleb try on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. And remember to love your food.